Good afternoon. I am Andrew Heaney, and I fucking hate this movie. I don't know where to begin with this movie. I mean, uh, uh, uh. First of all, this trailer is false advertising. This holiday season. Meet thing one and thing two. The classic tale comes to life. No, it doesn't. This is one of the most disrespectful adaptations of anything I've ever seen. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going to take this back. I hate this film more than The Last Airbender. I'm not going to take that back. This is the most insulting adaptation of beloved source material I've ever seen in my entire life. Alright, first, the film's filled with inappropriate jokes. And before you ask, oh, they're just adult jokes, they're just trying to get adults into the audience, I don't care. One, that's not an excuse with every single joke in the movie is an adult joke. Two, they're immature. That's the problem. They're immature. These jokes are way too immature. Like, take Shrek, for example, or even the Lego movie. Those two films are filled with good adult jokes. One, not every single joke is an adult joke. Two, they're subtle and mature enough that they can go under people's heads, children and adults' heads, without them having to be incredibly terrible. I'm going to throw a few examples of what I mean. And she's right. You can't jump on these. Not like this. They need some adjustment. <laughs> Let's take a look under the hood. Yeah. <laughs> my dad. Sorry. What we got here? There we go. <laughs> it's oversized. That's unusual. Here it is. <clears throat> Thanks for the help. Back in a second. Your couch mechanic. You ought to call Mr. Catrich. Oh, my fur! My fur! My fur! My fur! That ought to do it. Woo! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm going to put this in a more collective manner. Dr. Seuss's books are not comedies. They are trying to teach us very important life messages, and in this book's case, quite rare messages, without hammering them in, changing them, or throwing these really inappropriate jokes. And that particular one really insults me, because, well, I don't think I'd ever associate Dr. Seuss with a horrendously racist stereotype. Mike Myers mooning the camera and farting into it. I don't even sure I understand why the hell there's an elephant under the couch. Uh, elephant under the couch, because funny? Huh? What? Fuck. Here's a few more examples, and this next one I'm going to show you perfectly spells out a word that, while not inappropriate for this movie, perfectly appropriately describes this movie. Here she is, the super luxurious omnidirectional whatchamajigger, or S-L-O-W for short. S-L-O-W? Yeah, slow. It's better than the last name we had. Super hydraulic instantaneous transporter. Oh, you mean it. No! Quick to the slow! <laughs> no! Uh, why? Just why? That joke amounted to nothing in the film, aside from being a cheap, inappropriate joke. The movie's full filled with jokes like these. They amount to nothing, they're childish, they're immature, and they're just too inappropriate for the target audience. Here's another one. All right, Nevins. Oh. Time to die. How you scared him away? Dirty hoe. I'm sorry, baby. I love you. You know, that joke actually could have been funny had he not picked the hoe back up again and started looking at it. 
I'll be honest. Uh, him saying dirty ho to the ho, it's not that bad. But when he picks up the ho and says, I'm sorry, honey, I love you, duh. That's, that's my problem. It's hammering in that it's an adult joke. All while losing its maturity and its integrity. And all while taking a dump on Dr. Seuss's grave, then setting it on fire. Step out of my way. This cannot end well. <gasps> Why? Why? <sighs> okay, okay, I'm sorry for my insanity. By the way, that reaction I just showed you was an actual reaction I had when I first saw this film with a friend. And my friend, I'm not going to give his name out, he wanted to throw a rock at the television. He didn't have one, sadly. Uh, and that was actually my reaction. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that joke was so bad. Uh, he's he gets hit in the balls. He's a lady now. Ha! Huh? Fuck you, movie. Did you just call my mother ugly? Shut up! I mean it. I will end you. Um, cat, your tail. What about it? Oh, I see. I've chopped it off. Well, that's interesting because son of a. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to use this joke again. See you guys, and go in here! Oh, hi, Bailey. Hi, doggy. What you doing? Good boy. You come in here? You gonna come in here and hide because I scared you with my screaming? Alright. Everyone say hi to Bailey. He's my dog. Say hi, baby. He's a golden retriever yellow lab husky mix. Look, it's you! It's you! Okay, I, I won't hold you here. I don't want to hold you. I gotta wait. Good boy. He's ten years old. Uh, he's an old dog, and apparently my screaming terrified him. So, yeah, so we have someone else to... What are you looking at? Keep me company. Hi, baby. Hi, hi, puppy boo. Good boy. Oh, he left. Uh, anyway, uh, after you guys have said hi to my dog, I'm gonna now talk about the movie again. Oh boy. I'm not showing any more clips. Because quite frankly, I don't need to. I've made my point. This is one of the worst films I've ever seen. Definitely in the top five. And I've seen a lot of shit in my life. Um, here's the reason why. It's the wrong genre for the book. The book is supposed to be an adventure slash cautionary tale slash teacher of a really rare message that sometimes a little trouble is okay, but don't exceed it. That's a great message. And the message is nowhere in this movie. They turn this film into a plotless, half-assed comedy of Mike Myers going, <laughs> and making these really inappropriate and immature jokes. There's no good acting. The acting's awful. It's not even so bad it's good. It's just bad. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm giving Cat in the Hat, you all know what it's going to be, an F.